Hey everybody, Robbie Bessner again on the road. Hey, check this out. Pretty good helmet, huh? Out of popular demand, Robbie is wearing a helmet. Love this one because it has blinkers in the front and the back. And it even has a little dial that if I want to go left or right, I can actually push that and people will know what direction I'm going. I wish that I knew what direction I was going more often. Hang in there, guys. One of the questions that we were asked to talk about is niacin and niacin flushes. Niacin is a chelator and it flushes your uh, toxins out on a cell level, but you gotta be super careful about it. There are right and wrong niacins to take and you gotta start off with a really, really low dose because if you do what I did, which was 200 milligrams right out of the bottle, you'll have a histamine response like I did where for the first time in my life, I was super, super worried that I wasn't gonna survive. I asked my wife to call 911. In about 30 seconds, my body responded. My body flushed out so fast that uh, I really thought I was gonna kick it. So it's not something to mess with. It is a good protocol, but it's not for everyone, particularly if you're really symptomatic. My suggestion is to go low and slow, let the body create a normal healing platform as nature decided, uh, developed or, or defined for us. And niacin is good, but there are uh, some other chelators that might be just as effective without the potential of taking too much and overdoing it. If you choose to do niacin, recommendation, low and slow. Titrate in, start off with 10, maybe 50, maybe 100, and then work your way up so that your body is good, you don't overdo it, and you get what you're looking for, which is pulling those toxins out on a cell level. And then, of course, I love the binders. Make sure you're properly hydrated and uh, get into that infrared sauna as often as you can. It's the only defense we have against today's environment. Thank you for tuning in. Robbie Bessner on the road again. You guys rock.